Hello there, Aries. Welcome. We're going to just jump right into your reading to see what's going on for you. We're starting off with... Ooh, you're going to get some kind of communication from either an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. Or you might also be starting something new that you're very excited about. Are you going back to school, learning something new? Something very exciting is happening here. And this communication could come in the form of a text, an email, a phone call, a letter, anything. Showing up at your front door. Ooh, and you are the Empress. Or you're dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. I feel like you're coming into your own here. You're coming into your energy of um, able to, I don't know, create whatever you need to create. Some of you might be pregnant or find out about pregnancy with the empress coming up but this feels like you are just birthing something new birthing something exciting a new job a new career and something new is coming in for you and it's very exciting news somebody around you is trying to figure out what you're up to or sneaking around or trying to trying to do something here with seven swords but they get caught when i see this card i see them right on the moonlight so of course they're not hidden they're under this moonlight and then there's little clues here and someone's squawking so someone might be squealing on this person. In the past, you were dealing with a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person has a lot of attention set on you. I feel like they think about you a lot. They're the past person, but they don't, they, they just, they can't stop thinking about you is the energy I'm feeling about this person. Okay, crowning you. Ooh, money's coming in. Then new opportunities. This could be a commitment. Ace of Pentacles. That's nice to crown you here. And of course, with the Empress, that's one of the most abundant cards in the deck. So money is not an issue for you. Money is, if you is at one point, or if you feel like it, it, it won't be. It, things will be changing for you. Because people are noticing you in the future here. You're standing above the rest here. The Seven of Wands, you're beating out all the competition. And you're walking away from your burdens here. You're leaving things behind. You're starting something anew. And you're waiting for something to happen, though. You, I, It's like if you were looking for a job, you put out your resume, you're waiting for someone to co contact. It might be a certain job that you want, or there's something you're looking out and you're trying to figure out what you want, maybe. And then we have the Four of Swords. But someone is deeply thinking about you. I think it's this King of Pentacles here. They keep on thinking about you, and they can't get you out of their head. But things are going to start moving along really quickly. It might be communication coming in, but or you might have a lot of projects, a lot of things you're doing. Things are moving real quick. You do have a Knight of Cups coming in. Uh, and that would be Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy with an offer of love. But you are doing quite well by yourself. You're very independent. And I don't know if you're going to take them up on this. you walking away from something here or someone's walking away from something to something better. This could be just like leaving the house, you know, throwing the key out and just saying, I'm done. And just walking away and leaving everything behind. This is like, this is no longer fulfilling. Someone's leaving something to start something new. It could be a job. It could be where you live. It could be um, a relationship. It could be a way of doing things. Someone's leaving something behind. Okay, now with this page of wands. Let's clarify. Why do we have this page of wands here? We have the two of wands. Making a decision here. So you, there's a choice to be made here the two wands. It seems like whichever way you go, it's going to be okay. You just have two different options that you have to choose from. It might be people. It might be a job. It might be where you're going to live or where you're going to move to. But you're going to have two options. Okay, now let's see. What about this Empress? Page of Pentacles. Okay, there is an offer coming in for you. It could be a job. It could be a love offer. It could be coming from a Taurus for Capricorn. They could be younger than you. Okay, let's see. They could also be bringing a gift with the Page of Pentacles. Why do we have the Seven of Swords here? The Queen of Cups. Someone sees you as very nurturing, loving, caring. It could be, um, also could represent a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer is interested in you or watching you or trying to find out something about you could be someone trying to inquire about you okay what about this king of pentacles <clears throat> okay this person wants to talk 
Oh my god. So, something's stuck here. It's like, <clears throat> they need to speak to you and they can't. They're stuck. Okay. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Let's see. King of Swords. Ooh. Did the King of Swords stop this connection here in the past? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's what feels like. There's a King of Pentacles here and maybe a King of Swords stepped in. I don't even know if you're aware of this King of Swords stepping in. It might have told this King of Pentacles back off and maybe for some reason they did. Okay, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Three of Pentacles. Okay, this is you're going to be making money maybe at a new job or or someplace working that you're going to get you're definitely going to get an offer, a job offer coming in here. Or it also could be a partnership with somebody wanting to work with you. Could be a business partnership. Maybe you start a new business because you do have the Empress and that means that it's a good time to do that. So there might be an offer coming in to stop, start a business, especially with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. Why do we have Seven of Wands? Six of Swords. Okay, so you're moving. There's a lot of cards about moving here, I feel. So you might be moving away from something that was no longer serving to do something better. Or someone could be coming towards you. But there's definitely some type of movement. You could also be traveling or um, going on vacation. Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles here? Seven of Swords. Again. So this is the end of this burden of the Seven of Swords. I know this, this was like very fleeing. It was not like a, a small attempt to try to do something or... For some of you, I felt like that someone was trying to sabotage you, was trying to do something that didn't work. But more, I felt like there was someone that's interested in you. And they might just be petering out because that's not working for them. Because this is the end to this burden. Okay, now, why do we have the three of wands? Okay. Someone might be waiting for a time to come towards you because they want a commitment with you. They got the Hierophant here, the Taurus energy. Or it might be that you're waiting for this um, corporation that, or this some kind of um, establishment, institution to get back to you on a job. That could be for some too. Because this is a commitment. A higher event could be a commitment to a job or commitment for love here. What about the Four of Swords? We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So yeah, so this is fading. Someone... Um, was burdened by always thinking about you. They're start, this is starting to not to fade a little bit, maybe. There's Ten of Wands in reverse. But they're always thinking about you. They're on their mind. What about this Eight of Wands? The Wheel. Yes. Things are changing in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune. Things are starting to happen now. I think you've been waiting a little time here for this to happen. This also could represent a Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, or... Scorpio. Okay. Now, but there might be communication with one of those people, or you might be moving towards one of those people. It might be a destined communication or some kind of project. But things are going to happen fast. Move along here now in a good good way. What about the Knight of Cups? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person you might meet at work with the Eight of Pentacles, or they might want to work with you. Um, this is a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I think you're meeting this person at, at your job or at... A new work or or they come into your work or somehow they have they work with you they can even be working at your home but somehow there's something work related to the where you meet this person what about this nine of pentacles six of wands yes you are standing out people are noticing you you are independent you do you work well on your own you're you're growing and you're getting a lot of attention and then we have the three of swords at the bottom so there's some kind of pain or heartache here that um, I think you're healing over. I think this, this is the bottom deck. I'm going to throw a couple cards on it. See what else we get on this Three of Swords. Because I can't actually clarify it. So I'm going to clarify it. Anyway, so let's see. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? We have the Sun. Eight of Wands. Ten of... Okay, so you're going to be healing... From this ending here is Ten of Wands. There's going to be communication with someone. Maybe a Leo. And it's going to make you happy. And it's Three of Cups. And you're going to be celebrating something here. So you're going to, I think you're going to be healing whatever this pain was. This Three of Swords that you went through. Okay, guys. Now let's see. Let's start clarifying. The first one is... 
the page of wands okay let's see what's the scoop on this page of wands for it we have money Ooh, you're gonna hear about money sincere Ooh, denying something denying being sincere some about maybe denying money okay I don't know I because I started out with money it felt good someone's denying something and they're being sincere about it maybe it's something about money they maybe thought they had money but they're being sincere and they're denying it okay so maybe it's the truth and the next one is the page of Pentacles okay let's see what the scoop is on this page of Pentacles. I don't know how to do this here you do this and do this okay what's the scoop on this page of Pentacles? we have message meeting shocking truth okay so this page of Pentacles is when you meet them they're gonna have a message for you and it's gonna be something shocking surprising it's gonna be some kind of truth though that is gonna come out um, this is your energy Aries and Scorpio energy okay now what about this Queen of Cups we have realize change love okay they change and they realize they love you someone might be coming back to, or they realize it that's why they're sneaking around okay now we have two here the first of the king of pentacles let's just scoop on the king of pentacles we have past always money okay so this person in the past always thinks about money they are a uh, king of pentacles so that is a sign that would be more into on the material so they might always be thinking about money maybe that's why this king of swords came in and got them to go away let's see so maybe this person is after your money let's see what the scoop is on the king of swords contact regret healing so this person is going to contact you because they regret something and they're trying to heal this situation with you okay next one is okay I think we just got one more yeah we just have this one here the page of cups let's just scoop on this page of cups we have a I was gonna say a shower <laughs> okay I was no maybe something maybe take a shower I don't know here's a tower before closure okay so there's gonna be some kind of shock or yeah so there's gonna be a shock before this closure with this person if there is closure here I guess but something something shocking is gonna happen so again Aries or Scorpio energy so this person might shock you the way they come in and they're gonna give you some kind of closure okay like you know take it if it resonates leave if it doesn't okay Aries let's see what signs we have for you okay let's see I did get all the no more court cards right I think I got all the court cards okay we're good we're good to go let's see here we have Pisces Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Aquarius, wow, and Capricorn. Aquarius hardly comes out. And look, they came out twice. Okay, so for placements in the chart or at someone else's chart, uh, it could be anybody's chart past present or future we have Pisces Cancer Aquarius Libra Aquarius and Capricorn now for your letters this be for initials first name last name and um and middle if you already have the first and last you can put that in too if you know someone's middle name okay and this past present future we have M L A W D Z E O Q L 
F and Z. So the letters we have for you today are M L A W D Z E O Q F C. Now for the names. We'll do 11 names for you guys. What are the names for Aries? What are the names? Let's do. Let's see how many we have here. We have Cherise C H E R I S E. We have Jeanette J E A N E T T E Tiffany Admin A H M E D we have Myra M I R I A M Hubert H U P E R T Dominique Jamar Daniel Rowena we need one more. We're short one. Okay, one more, please. One more for the buck. And we have Richard. Okay, so those are the names for you today. Remember, these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. They're not personal reading. Please let me know if anything resonates. Please um, leave a comment. And I love to read your comments. And I love you guys so much. I appreciate it. Always like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.